Ever felt like a hacker? Maybe you opened Task Manager and thought, yep, I'm Neo, or guessed a friend's Netflix password on the first try? Classic password one, two, three. Cute, right? Real hackers, though, don't play around. They speak the secret languages of the internet protocols and twist them in ways that make your Wi-Fi and email look like playgrounds for chaos. Don't worry, I'm not teaching hacks, just showing the tricks and laughs behind them. By the end, you'll never look at free Wi-Fi or logging pages the same way. Ready? Let's dive in. HTTP slash HTTPS, the front door and the trick mirror. Imagine the internet as a giant neighborhood. HTTP is like the front door to every house. Wide open, welcome mats out, and please come in signs everywhere. Hackers love it because it's easy to peek in, leave little surprises, and eavesdrop on your conversations. HTTPS is the fancy version, a front door with locks, security cameras, maybe even a Rottweiler. It's a bit more private, but hackers still try to find ways around it. Picture this. Someone puts a whoopee cushion under your welcome mat and calls it performance testing. That's essentially what some attacks look like. Sneaky, weird, and disruptive, but technically legal if you're just reading traffic, not stealing. Remember Equifax? That breach wasn't because of some crazy hacker movie heist. It was a web app with the door wide open. Lesson, always lock the door and maybe hire a digital guard dog. Next, email, where the mailman might also be a hypnotist. SMTP slash email protocols, the shady post office. Emails are basically digital letters delivered by SMTP and fetched with IMAP or POP, but hackers love emails more than kids love candy. Phishing, spear phishing, and business email compromise are all fancy ways of saying, hey, let's trick people into giving us money or secrets. Picture this, you get an email that looks like your boss asking for urgent files. You panic, click, and suddenly you're the star in a hacker sitcom. Phishing is basically the only sport where people actively jump into traps because they think they're getting promoted. Companies have lost millions this way. One moment you're opening an invoice, the next moment the hacker is sipping your latte and laughing at your expense. Defenses like DMARC, DKIM, SPF, MFA, and endless user training exist, but let's be real, humans are still the weakest link. If email is the Wild West, DNS is the sketchy map hackers use to get direction. DNS, the internet's phone book and the secret map. DNS is the internet's phone book. It translates funwebsite.com to an IP address so your computer knows where to go. Sounds boring, right? Until hackers mess with it. Imagine ordering pizza and the GPS reroutes you to a sketchy warehouse. That's DNS spoofing or cash poisoning. Hackers can even use DNS as a secret channel to move messages without being noticed. Defenders have DNS sec, monitoring, and filters, but most people treat DNS like a dusty Rolodex they never update. Classic attacks prove how quietly effective DNS abuse can be. And if maps are this dangerous, wait until we open the office fridge. SMB. SMB slash file sharing. The office fridge nobody cleaned. SMB is Windows way of sharing files and printers. Think of it like the office fridge where everyone leaves their lunch, sometimes for years. If patched and managed, it's fine. If exposed or unpatched, nightmare. WannaCry 2017 spread through SMB like a holiday gossip that turns into chaos. It locked computers worldwide faster than you can say password one, two, three. Hackers love SMB because one poorly protected share is basically a master key to the office. And let's be honest, some IT teams treat file sharing like a forgotten leftover sandwich. Eh, it's fine, it'll survive. The fix is classic, patch, segment, and don't point your SMB at the entire internet. Next, remote access, SSH, Telnet, and RDP, where hackers basically get comfy on your digital couch. SSH, Telnet, and RDP, the remote couch surf. These are the remote access protocols that let admins control computers from anywhere. SSH is the secure modern option. Telnet, that's like yelling your password across a crowded subway. RDP is Windows version of letting someone log in from afar. Hackers exploit weak credentials, the fault passwords, or expose ports to waltz in sometimes quietly, sometimes like crashing a party. Remember the Mirai botnet? Millions of devices hijacked because people left admin slash admin as login credentials, basically leaving the front door key under a fake rock with a neon sign saying, come on in. Defenders rely on key-based authentication, MFA, IP restrictions, and monitoring. But the best protection is still awareness. If your network is your home, don't let strangers on the couch. Up next, APIs the VIP waiters of the internet who carry your data on silver platters. APIs slash OAuth slash token, the VIP passes of modern app. APIs are like the VIP waiters of the internet. Hand them a valid token and they'll serve you anything. 
menus, orders, or entire databases if you're sneaky enough. Hackers love stolen tokens because one key can open multiple doors, giving them access without breaking a sweat. Imagine a waiter who suddenly remembers every secret recipe and decides to walk off with them. That's your API with a leaked key. Companies have lost millions over public GitHub tokens and poorly configured API endpoints. Defenders use short-lived tokens, least privilege, API gateways, and strict logging. But the dance between hackers and APIs is like a never-ending spy thriller. Up next, database, the cookie jars of the internet that you really shouldn't leave unlocked. Databases and SQL, the cookie jar. Databases hold all the good stuff, passwords, financial info, secret recipes, and embarrassing search histories. SQL is like ordering one cookie and getting the entire bakery. Breaches like Sony, Target, and LinkedIn weren't flashy explosions, just tiny oversights that snowballed. Defenses include input validation, parameterized queries, least privilege accounts, and logging every suspicious look. Hackers love lazy developers, so don't be that guy leaving the vault code stuck on the door with a post-it. Next, wireless and Bluetooth, because the air is the hacker's playground. Wireless and wireless protocols, the public playground. Free Wi-Fi is like candy on a dark alley, tempting and dangerous. Hackers set up fake hotspots, like Starbucks free Wi-Fi, and just wait. Bluetooth has its own fun with worms, spoofing, and bluejack. Even secure Wi-Fi isn't always safe. K-R-A-C-K attack proved that. The lesson is VPNs, updated devices, and paranoia. Think of it as being at a party where you know someone's definitely spiking the punch. Next, ICMP, the sneaky way hackers knock on every door in your network. ICMP is like a polite knock at the network's door. Hello, anyone home? Hackers use it to map networks, find live devices, and see who's talking to whom. Ping sweeps can reveal entire subnetworks, and responses can leak device info. It sounds boring, but this little knock is the first step in many attacks, kind of like a burglar checking which houses have lights on before picking one. Defenders use firewalls, rate limiting, and monitoring to avoid giving away too much. Once they know the landscape, Hackers can move to more sensitive areas like your databases or VIP APIs. Active Directory and LDAP, the hacker throne room. Active Directory is the kingdom of accounts and privileges. Get admin access here and you control the castle. Files, emails, servers, everything. Hackers escalate privileges, move laterally, and can linger undetected for months. Think of it like sneaking into airport security with a master boarding pass. Suddenly every gate is yours. Defenders rely on MFA, zero trust, auditing, and constant monitoring but sloppy setups make AD the most coveted prize in corporate networks. And if you think that's the end, nope. In the next episode, we'll follow a full attack chain from phishing to cleanup, showing how these protocols get chained together in the wild. And that's the backstage tour of hacker favorite protocols. Who knew the internet had so many doors, mailboxes, and secret snack fridges, right? Honestly, hackers make it look like a theme park. Scary, chaotic, and somehow entertaining. But here's the thing, knowing how they play is half the battle. Now you can spot the weird Wi-Fi hotspots, suspicious emails, and shady login requests without panicking. Knowledge is your superpower, and luckily, no hoodie or Red Bull required. If you laughed, learned something, or just felt slightly smarter than your router, hit that like button like it's a suspicious pop-up. Subscribe so you don't miss the next video, where we follow a realistic attack chain from start to finish. Emails, tokens, databases, the whole wild ride. Drop a comment with the protocol that freaked you out the most. I promise I'll read them all, and maybe even roast a few. Stay curious, stay safe, and remember, Never ever use password123 as a password. Catch you in the next one.